I'm Dr. Matthew Newman. I'm one of the pain management physicians here at the Spine Center in Baton Rouge. Today we'll be talking about lumbar medial branch blocks and radiofrequency ablations. Uh, just like knees get arthritis, the small joints in the back called the lumbar facet joints can also get arthritis and that can cause low back pain. Sometimes this low back pain will even radiate to the buttock and posterior thigh area. Um, it's not a sciatica type of pain, but it, it can cause an extreme amount of discomfort in the low back. So when you talk about lumbar medial branch blocks and radio frequency ablation, that's a two-part process. Um, the first part is the medial branch block, which is a diagnostic procedure to determine if the patient is a candidate C4, the nerve burn, which is the radio frequency ablation. So a lumbar medial branch block is a series of diagnostic tests to determine if a patient's having pain coming from their lumbar facet joints. So the lumbar facet joints are these small joints in the posterior aspect of the spine these joints are responsible for uh, backwards bending and twisting and can cause pain with those movements. Yeah, the patient is typically uh, anesthetized using local anesthetic and given a piece of paper to take home uh, and record their pain scores for approximately eight hours after the procedure. If the patient receives 80% relief for that duration, they would be a candidate for a lumbar radiofrequency ablation. Patients ask me, what is a lumbar radiofrequency ablation? And layman's terms, it's a non-surgical nerve burn, which is a needle with a wire through it, and it heats up and burns off the nerve and interrupts the signal coming from an arthritic joint in the back to the brain. Uh, one of the big advantages of a radiofrequency ablation is it can last a lot longer than a typical steroid injection can. Uh, I'll typically tell my patients that pain relief can be expected six to 18 months uh, duration, and the reason for that is because the nerve takes time to grow back. As the nerve does grow back, the facet joint is re innervated and the pain may return, but we can just repeat the radio frequency ablation on an as needed basis as early as six months. Um, so, both the lumbar medial branch blocks and the radio frequency ablations are performed on an outpatient basis in the procedure room downstairs. We typically provide IV anesthetic to help the patients relax during the procedure. It's a very easy and straightforward procedure, it takes less than five minutes, and the patient is able to return home on the same day. If you think you may be a candidate for a lumbar medial branch block or radiofrequency ablation, you can visit our website for more information or call the clinic to make an appointment.